Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on the market. So SPY today, the bulls started the day off strong, but we couldn't break resistance to confirm the little daily bull flag. And we pulled back towards the end of the day, led to the downside by the financial sector. So we're looking at continued daily healthy consolidation at this point. It's very contained. The middle Bollinger Band is catching up. Anything above 280.16 is a higher low. So the bulls don't have anything to worry about. But we have some nice clear setups on both the tech sector and the financial sector. And we're setting up for some clarity around early September for when these patterns are likely to break. And we'll look at them in just a second. We'll look at QQQ for tech and XLF for the financial sector. But I do believe that's going to have a significant impact on whether we see weekly consolidation on SPY or just full-on bull mode, all-time high, raging party time. So SPY on the weekly, we've been running pretty hard for two months with little consolidation. So that's why we're going to be looking for that consolidation if we lose daily uptrends on both of these important sectors. IWM has been hitting all-time highs, a little bit of a double top, 171, 49, and 52 the last two days, and pulling back a little bit. So we're looking for a healthy daily higher low here as well. Anything above 165, 15 will do so. And we're only just now starting this consolidation. Weekly time frame on fire for the bulls, very strong. So here's QQQ with the daily equilibrium. All-time high, low of the pullback, lower high, higher low. Looks like that's our lower high at 182.04, and we'll look for a higher low compared to 178.12. So the tighter we get, the sooner the break's going to be happening, and it does look like either next week or, if not next week, certainly very shortly after. Weekly time frame shows the tightening range. Break is imminent. VIX on the daily time frame, still trying to find that daily higher low, couldn't confirm it yesterday with no follow through, have to at least see another green day in a row, and ideally breaking 1329 for these bulls. We're looking for the equilibrium here as well, but we're no, not seeing any kind of convincing follow through that our daily higher low has formed just yet. Weekly time frame, who cares? XLF on the daily chart, equilibrium as well, high, low, lower high, 2851 compared to 2856, and we're looking for a higher low compared to 2761 there's a lot more space in this pattern so this could take a little bit longer for it to play out in terms of it might be the first week in september and we might see a break in the tech sector before the financial sector if both the tech and financial sector break bullish we're going to be raging bulls all-time highs if we have both of them break bearish we're going to see weekly consolidation in the markets and if they both break in different directions we're going to see some indecision and a lack of clarity so i want to see them both break in the same direction i don't care what direction that is i will look to play the markets from that signal. So I do think we're going to get some nice clarity within a week or two, and I'm going to be patiently watching both of these daily time frames for those signals. So that's that. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you over the weekend.